Round two highlights from the NEC Series Latino America Tours Mundo Mayo Open held at the Yucatan Country Club. Starting off on the 17th hole, it's Scott McVarish on the par three, 212 yards, coming off a birdie on 16, trying to get some work done. As he sits at six over par, as he sticks it on the 17th, would tap that one in for birdie to get to plus five on the day where he would stay, but eventually miss the cut, which settled at one over par. Over to the fourth, it's Canadian Ryan Yip. This to get to two under long birdie opportunity drains it. He would finish off his day with a two under 70, three under overall. Now from someone with the yips to someone with the last name Hack, this could be the best highlight roster of all time. Starting off on the six, his approach shot on the par four. He leaves himself a lot of work to do over a ridge for birdie to get to one under on the day. Hack showing he's anything but as he rolls that one in to get to one under. Then we will stay with Jared Hack and head over to the ninth. Still sitting at one under par here, this to get to two under on the par four. Downhill lie. As he rolls that one in also. Hack would finish off his day with a five under 67 to get to six under overall. He carded six birdies in eight holes, but bogey the 18th to drop back. Back over to the fourth hole now. It's Yoshio Yamamoto. That for a birdie. Yamamoto is six under overall in the tie for six, heading into moving day. Then we head over to the nine. Jorge Fernandez Valdez. Puts himself in contention a lot of weeks out here on the Latino America Tour. Right now tied for the lead at eight under par. Sticks it here. Looks like a gimme birdie. From about two feet, he would miss that one, going to tap in for par to remain at eight under, tied with this man, Manuel Villegas. Remember, this is Camilo's brother. On the 11th, his third shot on the par five, sits at six under par. Villegas trying to keep up with his brother on the PGA Tour. And he is doing just fine. This for birdie from about 20 feet out. This would get him to seven under par. He is able to get it done. Vijegas and Fernandez Valdez are tied for the lead heading into moving day.